You can totally use the Elgato Stream Deck to control your live streams, but can you use it to edit in Adobe Audition? Let's find out. So here I am. First of all, I need to download the Stream Deck for Mac software. Of course, if you're on PC, you'd need to do the same on PC. Okay, the Stream Deck software is installed on my Mac. You could do the same on PC. It's ready to go with the Elgato Welcome logo. And what I'm going to be looking for here to get it to work with Adobe Audition to speed up my editing with macros are the hotkey commands inside system on the Stream Deck software. You can search for it just by typing hot key like that and it brings it up and then you just drag it into any key of your choice you'll see the uh, robot appears on the stream deck as well at the same time and then you give it a title and you click to assign a hotkey it observes keystrokes so I'll, I'll click space and then I'll make that into play and I can even later on go in and I can design different icons here uh, for the different hotkeys but let's just see if this first key assignment actually works so if I bring in something from my production library there you go, there's just a simple bang, bring it into here. Now I can of course hit space on my keyboard, that always starts audio, but now I can go over to my stream deck and... Yes, it works! I can play, I can stop using that key, I can play again. So yes, Stream Deck may be designed for live streaming, but you can also use it in Audition, and it's a fantastic macro shortcut kind of thing to get uh, to speed up your process. So that's all very well. Yeah, play and stop, that's great, but what about more advanced stuff? I reckon I can do that. Let's go into the uh, Configure Stream Deck option here, which appears up in the taskbar in Mac and down in the taskbar on Windows. And again, I'm going to assign a hotkey over here. It can be anything I like. This is so exciting. Uh, so let's say I want to normalize... 2 minus 3 dB. The first thing I need to do is go into Audition's keyboard shortcuts and assign that favorite to a hotkey. Normalize, let's find it, 2 minus 3 dB. Let's assign it to a really random hotkey like Command, Control, and N. How about that? Okay. Click OK. Now I've assigned the hotkey in Audition back over to the Elgato Stream Deck and I'll select that key. And again, observing keystrokes, Command, Control, N done and this will be my normalize minus 3db let's say and you'll see actually when you type it on actually it doesn't quite fit on the stream deck so I might just I might just call it normalize for short and there you go it fits nicely on the stream deck and of course you can customize the icons so you can have all kinds of crazy um, icons you can even have animated gifs I believe so this the possibilities are endless but does it work so here we go I've got a sound effect open let's normalize to minus 3db ready Boom! Done with the hit of a key. So all of your favorites can be assigned to Stream Deck. Play, stop, everything you need. Uh, cut and paste, uh, trim waves, crop, anything can go on this little tiny Stream Deck that sits on top of your desk. Fantastic. Awesome. I'm going to be using this. Uh, and if you don't want to go nuts with the keys on here, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 15 keys in total. So three rows of five. 15 keys on the big Stream Deck. There's also a mini version of Stream Deck as well. Uh, just if you want to play and stop and maybe just a few favorites for audition, that may be a good choice for you. But whatever you choose, Stream Deck can not only be used for live streaming, but also editing in, well, not just audition, but any program of your choice. Oh.